you doing everybody? Uh, it's Mr. White here from St. Vincent Secondary School in Dundalk. So over the last 14 years, we've had a huge increase in the number of students uh, doing science. Uh, we represent all the sciences here, uh, biology, chemistry, physics, maths, applied maths, agricultural science, and the new computer science for Leave and Cert. Today we're going to be doing a flame test on four different elements. The first element we're going to try is copper. Taking it on a water soaked splint and putting it into the hottest part of the Bunsen burner, as you can see, it gives off a blue green flame. The next element we're going to try is lithium. Taking off a small piece and putting it into the flame, it should give us off a red colour. Now we are going to try strontium. As you can see, it gives off a crimson colour. Each element gives off its own colour because it has its own unique electron configuration, which leads to unique electron transitions. Here we're doing potassium, and you can see the lilac colour. We offer the students um, as many different extracurricular activities as they would like to participate in. Uh, which increases their overall knowledge within and outside the curriculum for science, uh, which includes uh, BT Young Scientist, uh, SciFest here based in DKIT, and the National uh, SciFest uh, Awards as well, uh, the John Hooper Statistical uh, Competition, uh, Real Life Science, the uh, Aberdeen uh, Irish Angus Competition, and a range of other uh, chemistry competitions. And we've had huge success with the students here, uh, culminating in one of our students in 2014 coming second in BT Young Scientist. And the previous year with her sister, uh, they came first in the world in the International Scientific Literacy uh, Project competition as well. So this is the heat specific capacity test. It's a really fun experiment that we do on open night with the fifth and sixth class when they come in. So Rachel and I are gonna demonstrate it. She's first of all gonna wet her hands and she's gonna grab some of these bubbles that have gas in them. And I'm going to light her hands on fire and she's going to just rub them out to make sure that she doesn't get burnt. If you want to know the science behind that experiment, come do science at St Vincent's. I think BT was the best experience I had in St Vincent's so far. Yeah, definitely. I remember I entered the project um, with Irish dancing. What did you do? Um, I did it in bullying terminology in 2019. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Did, did you get any cool opportunities because of that? Yeah, we got an opportunity to speak to all the judges about our project and we also got a radio interview. Oh yeah, I remember the radio interview. <laughs> yeah, like before I was really nervous about that, but afterwards I felt really confident because I was just used to talking to people. Yeah, and we also got like loads of opportunities to meet new people. Yeah, I'm friends. actually still in contact with yeah, some same. of the people that I met. <laughs> So that's actually really cool. Yeah, did you um, get any further interest in science from BT? Um, well, actually I remember I wasn't that interested in science before, but I actually tried to do BT and it made me see science in a more fun way because I was doing a project about something that I was actually interested in and I had a passion in. Yeah, and it was outside the curriculum, so yeah, it was really so interesting. Yeah, so it was actually, you know, you could pick whatever you wanted to do, mm -hmm. so yeah. And do you want to do uh, science after school? Or? Um, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet, but I think it's a possibility that I would do. Yeah, I think BT has sparked that for yeah. both of us. So if your daughter wants to study science here in St. Vincent Secondary School, she'll be able to pursue it to the highest degree.